We'll play, uh, doing a little video here on how to spray the inside of a bowl. How to spray the inside of a bowl. And uh, fans going, air compressor will probably kick on. So it's going to be kind of hard to communicate. Anyway, uh, just put the bowl on a lazy Susan here on a paper plate. Inside the bowl already has some uh, gloss white glaze. I'm just spraying some, it's called watercolor blue. And uh, I've cut the, the amount of copper in it, copper carbonate in it by half. So it's a lighter, more turquoise color. Here we go. Just spray until you get a nice coat. I usually let it try and uh, uh, solidify a little bit. You'll see it drying. I don't know if you can see that, but you might be able to see it dry up a little bit. Uh, then I'm going to give it another squirt. even coat got a little thick on the bottom I'm just moving that glaze around a little bit there's a little pool in the bottom anyway that's uh, the next coat we do a few of those usually set that on there make sure I'm kind of centered um, before I start the spray, these will get one more coat. Um, the two glazes that are on there now are studio glazes, the glaze I got, actually got out of uh, John Britt's book, um, and I mixed them up here in the studio. And then the final up here on the rim, I'm going to put uh, some uh, to Amico Ancient Copper. I think those two uh, colors will... Um, accent one another quite well so I don't know if you can see it, but the, the, uh, the sheen goes off of the inside there. That's how I know it. I can get another coat on there. So.
And that's, uh, you know, pretty much it for adding the color on the inside. I've already done the outside here with two coats. So from here up and from that wet line up, I'm going to add the ancient copper. I have to switch out uh, the, the glaze that's in here. I don't like to leave the glaze sitting in here very long. We got to just show you how I'm dumping that out. It's uh, not that big a deal, but for people who don't, uh, this is just the glaze bucket. There's a, these are gravity fed cheapo spray guns from Harbor Freight. I'm not getting anything out of that, by the way. Anyway, you dump it out of the hopper, shake any uh, excess out because there's it comes up into this portion here, and the more you get out of there, the better. Uh, I blow it out. this out I'll probably just leave the gun because I'm gonna load the copper up right now and uh, spray those rims So screw that hopper back on. There's three adjustments on these. This this adjustment back here, you turn back off. That gives you the amount of air you're pushing through. This adjustment here. This is another air adjustment down here, and it's more critical probably than that one. This one gives you more overall flow. It sucks more. It moves the needle back further. <laughs> Shoot, I'm talking and I'm not even on there. There we go. Three adjustments on here. This one adjusts the overall flow. It actually pulls the needle back further in there and allows your trigger to move back further. This one uh, also adjusts air, but it's uh, it seems to suck more fluid through the gun. And this one's the over overall airflow, and that has to be adjusted. If you don't have enough air, you won't be able to suck any paint out of the hopper. So those are the three adjustments. This adjustment on the front, if it's if it's turned that way, you get a real broad spray that way, from side to side. If it's if it's a crossways to the thing, the spray generally goes up and down more. So you get a broad paintbrush stroke that way. Okay, so This is straight. This is actually a paint on glaze, but I push it right through this hopper. And it's it's got uh, it's got um, yeah. <laughs> it has gum in it so you can brush it on easier. 
but uh, I push it right through the paint the paint sprayer so we're going to try and do this I gotta turn that sideways see what I can get through there there we go so what that does I don't know if you can see that in the back it's spraying sideways so and I want to keep it on the rim so what I'm going to do is get down low Put a real heavy coat on that rim. Get inside here. I'm trying to get a heavy coat. And I'll have to probably do uh, at least two, maybe three coats of that. Like that on each one of these bowls. That one's complete. Um, just gotta let it dry and throw it in the kiln. Do one more here and then uh, I'll let you go. You can see you get uh, pretty fine, relatively fine adjustments on these. Sorry about that. Anyway, you can see uh, how the glaze goes on. It uh, sets up almost immediately. And uh, I'll show you these in a later video when they come out of the kiln. Hopefully they'll be nice. All right, so. Let's that's it for now. Uh, got a few, got quite a few more to go. So just be more of the same thing so i'll let you go have a good day like and subscribe <laughs>